Hey beautiful souls, welcome back to my channel. This is Cherie from Soul Deep Designs. But before I go further to talk about what we're going to be doing today in this tutorial, I want to say thank you to my subscribers. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your kind words. Thank you for sharing my videos. Thank you for liking my videos. I am so blessed to have subscribers like you, especially in the beginning of this YouTube journey. For my new souls that's tuning in, I see you, I see you watching. Look, please consider subscribing, liking, sharing, because like I said before, we are going to be doing some dynamic, some dynamic tutorials. Okay, so I have that out the way. So today, we are going to do a tutorial that is very dear to me and I think it's very fitting to pay homage to this uh, person. And so without further ado, let me show you what we're going to be doing. Look, y'all, we are going to be making it's just a little bag clutch. You can put your little beautiful stuff in or whatever you want to do with it. But we're going to be making this today. So. If you want to know how I made this, you have to stick around, stick around. And also, I want you to check these out. Hmm, you see that? Those earrings I made today as well. But we won't do the tutorial on that one. We'll do that on a later time. But we are going to do the tutorial on this one. So without further ado, if you want to know how I completed this bag, yet again, stick around. Stick around and soul will take you step by step to complete this bag. Let's play homage to Martin Luther King. So he is so well deserved. Stick around. All right, guys, I am printing my image. It's gonna be on canvas material. I am using my Roland, uh, my Truvis Roland, the VG2540. The v, uh, and I wanted my bag a little thick, a little different, so I think I want to just make it a, a nice canvas um, little tote bag. So, as y'all can see, it is printing. The image. And this canvas that I'm using, uh, material, it's uh, the satin. So it's not real glossy. It don't have a real high shine or anything, but it's a, the satin material, so. Which is still gonna be really nice. It's just taking its time. Love this machine. It'll print up to 54 inches. Um, you can do pretty much anything on this machine. Um, banners stickers, magnets, flyers, you know, like the flyer posters, wall decal. And this certain type of uh, rolling, it takes uh, eight different um, cartridges. So maybe one day we can go over that as well. Um, I designed the image in Illustrator. Just for the sake of time, I didn't go through um, step by step as to how. But again, even for your bag, um, you can use so many different, um, um, different mediums, you can, um, do the, uh, what is that, like the print paper, it may not be this big, um, but it can be done. I really enjoy um, utilizing this print and cut um, rolling. It's a great tool to have, and as you can see, hopefully, how beautiful this image is. 
but y'all be able to see it a little, little better. Let me see if I can scroll down just a little bit. So you can kind of see how beautiful it is. All the beautiful colors. And what's happening now, um, as you can see, I don't know if you can see like this, this silver bar right here, it's heating, I mean it's hot. So what it does, it dries the image, uh, or whatever medium I'm using, it'll dry it. Uh, so when it come out, it'll be good and dry, so the, the ink won't bleed. You're gonna have fun with this bag, y'all. Nice size, just a decent little bag. We can put our stuff in and also pay it, um, um, playing tribute to, paying tribute to Dr. Martin Luther King. In his dream, he will not be forgotten. We love you, Dr. King. We love you. And so after this gets finished printing, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it and I am going to meet you um, at the table so I can show you the other materials that we're gonna be using to um, complete this project. So I will see you over there at the cutting table. All right, see you soon. All right, beautiful souls, we are back at the um, the cutting and sewing table and I will be sharing with you what materials that I use for this specific project. I am using a 18 inch zipper. I um, had cut a strap for um, the wristlet, but you can measure um, how big you want yours to be. But I um, cut mine 14 inches. Um, you see this printed out. Um, this is going to be the front of our bag, and this is going to. This is measures from 15 by 12, and um, I believe in my video when it was printed out, I said 15 by 18. The correct dimensions is 15 by 12 for the front of your bag. Okay. You're going to need two lining pieces and that's also measuring 15 by 12 and I also put um, on my lining and because the bag is kind of thick you really didn't need this uh, interface but I put some on there anyway okay the back of the bag is going to be two different pieces and the first piece it's going to be a 15 by four. That's what I'm going to do for my bottom. And the other piece is going to be 15 by eight. Now, with these dimensions, it comes up to the 15 by 12, okay? So that is what we're going to need. And of course, a coordinating thread. Okay, so without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get um, to this tutorial, but I wanted to show you something that I do. I made my own template. And remember I said this before, I just use craft paper, um, especially if I'm making a more like, like a production or a lot of these, I always want to make templates. So this is a 15 by eight. This is the 15 by four, which I'm using this for the back. And this is a 15 by uh, 12 or 12 by 15, whatever how you wanna um, say it. And this is for the front um, and the lining. So just a sole tip, it's so much easier. And then I'll laminate the craft paper. Without further ado, I will meet you over at the sewing machine and let's get to sewing. All right, beautiful souls. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to um, sew the back of the bag. We're gonna sew both of these pieces together. And we're gonna do that by placing 
We're lining it up, right, right sides together. Let me get my, my bowl of pins. I like using these pins, or not the pins, but I like using the clips because um, the Wonder Clips, um, you don't really have to worry about them, um, you know, messing up your material or poking holes in your material. And so I am just going to go ahead and just clip these together. With the wrong sides. Yep. And what I'm going to do, make sure it's a little even. And I see now I pushed it over a little too far. Make sure your stuff is lined up correctly, okay? Try this again. I'm telling y'all, I love these Wonder Clips. I will definitely link this um, in the description below. Um, the ones that I use, which I get them off of Amazon. Um, and I am going to do, um, and, and for bags, sometimes they use like five eighths or whatever. I am going to go ahead and use a quarter inch. Um, and what I also have done is put my walking foot on because I am going to be sewing through jean, I'm going to be sewing through vinyl, um, I'm going to be sewing through canvas material. So I want to make sure that um, the walking foot can kind of push that through, okay? And so I'm going to use a quarter inch. Don't forget to back stitch. Remember? All right. So we're just going to do a quarter inch all the way down. And take your time. You don't need to rush. You want to make sure everything is lined up correctly. You don't have to go this fast if you're not used to it. So. And then don't forget when you get to the end, you still need the back stitch, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and cut that. All right, and as you can see, now it's one piece. And when we start, uh, when we go over there and iron some things, we wanna go ahead and um, iron those uh, creases down. But as you can see, it is now one piece. And this is uh, just regular vinyl. Just vinyl. Um, I got this from Joann's, oh my God, a while ago. It comes in a really big roll, you know, um, over there like in the decor section, but you don't have to use vinyl. You can use anything, um, so I don't have to use vinyl, okay? Okay, beautiful souls. Now this, we are going to install the zipper. So we are going to need the front of your bag, um, a piece of your lining, and we're also going to need your zipper. So the first thing we're going to do is put your lining face to, I mean face up, okay? We are going to take the zipper with the pull. I always start from my left. Face down. And what I usually do is leave a little, um, let it hang over the both edges. That's why I like using like um, bigger zippers for my bags. And then we are going to take the top and we're going to put that on top of there. Okay, with all of these sandwiched together, we are going to make sure are going to clip all of these together, making sure all of them, three pieces, which is the front, the, the lining, and the zipper, we want to make sure that they are all lined up. Make sure they're all straight, honey, because I tell you, 
You don't want no crooked zipper in your bag. You don't want anything to throw it off. So get it as straight as you can. And just remembering if you don't, hey, it could be fixable. Alright. Um, like I said, I installed my zipper foot. Take it. And I'm going to make sure my zipper foot is at the edge of my zipper. And I'm going to begin this. Uh, Make sure you have it on the right side <laughs> that it needs to be on too. Okay, and I am going to begin just make sure you uh, backstitch. Mine automatically backstitches for me. I have it set like that. Just taking my time, making sure that the zipper foot is butted up against the zipper. Still making sure that everything is intact, everything is straight. Take your time. Rush, go as slow as you need to. I'm just still checking. Constantly checking. Make sure. Let's put it up on the Since my pull is all the way up, it's not going to affect my foot from hitting it. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, see through and then backspace and cut. something like this. You see that? Looks something like this. So what I'm going to do, I am going to go to the arm and I am going to arm this down. You know, make it flat and I will be back. Your big scissors, small scissors, better scissors. We are going to take our zipper. We're going to cut it. Okay, let's cut it. Same thing on this side. like I'll just show you just because make sure when you do clip your edges do not cut your uh, thread okay you're gonna reach in you see me reaching in I got my hand in the bottom doing so I'm going through my zipper that's why you have to make sure your zipper done and it's just a little different now because of 
um, the type of material that we're using. And we're going to pull that through. I also forgot to cut this. I'm sorry. Don't forget to cut your wristlet. Take your time. That's why it's good to go do a couple because you don't want to um, unravel any of your seams. Okay. And when you're making the other bags and stuff and you're not using um, this type of material, it's not that challenging, um, but um, because of the material we're using, so. Now I'm gonna push the lining down in the bag. Let's make sure you see. It's just a little challenging messing with this material. You can see it forming. up them corners, taking out those corners. And what you can do is, while you have your hand in there, and you can also use other things to unpoke it, actually I have um, something like that to kind of help with that. Like I said, because of the material, how thick it is, make sure that we take all um, before we uh, sew up our lining we want to make sure we poke all them holes out the best way we can so let's just take your time Any time it might take a little time just take your time and just just make sure that when you're poking out these corners that you are not putting a hole in your corners, okay? Like I said, it's just a little more challenging um, when you're using all this material. Okay? Let's put that back in there because we're going to lock it down anyway. on it flat and then um, we're gonna take out that lining I mean I take out the lining but pull out the lining and then we're gonna sew the bottom and we're done we're done guys we are done so let me go on this I will be back all right beautiful souls back from the ironing station um, on down the bag um, as flat as I can get it um, and also on down the lining and so now what we're going to do, we're just going to just take a stitch down here at the bottom uh, where our hoe is and we are going to be done. Yes. So we can do the great reveal. Okay. All right. So let's just stitch. You can get it as uh, close as you can. Let's get the back stitch. Time. 
Oh, I know y'all's bag gonna be beautiful, souls. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and cut. Look at that, look at that. We're gonna do a better reveal. So I just want y'all to see. Look at y'all's bag that y'all completed. Yes. We love you, Dr. King. Tribute to you. Okay, well, we're gonna um hold this up so we can see it a little better. Oh, one second. All right, beautiful souls. We are done with this project giving uh, Martin Luther King all his uh, props. And as you can see, this is the final. All right, we can unzip it. There go our lining, isn't that nice? Yes, y'all did a good job, y'all. And remember, y'all don't have to use vinyl or use the canvas material. That was just something that um, I wanted to try. Um, but anyway, y'all done a great job. And um, thanks for hanging out with me again. Um, again, I want to thank the subscribers who have subscribed, being consistent, commenting, saying nothing but beautiful and nice things. And for your new, new souls that's tuning in and you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing because like I said before, we are, we, go, we are going to be doing some nice, nice and dynamic, dynamic creations. And remember this, until we meet again. So love yourself before anybody else. Peace.